Hello guys, it's Emily here. Welcome back on my channel. So in this week's video, I'm going to talk to you about my plans for 2021. And while you listen to this, um, I will have like two older time lapses of some patron artwork that I did two to three years ago. And um, before I jump into this time lapse process and just talking about all the things that I have planned this year, I just want to quickly mention that I do have now released my preview pack for my next coloring book. So here it is. Um, it's the Sweet Kawaii coloring book. The full uh, issue will be probably out at the end of May, but because I already have completed half of it and not everyone is going to want to purchase the entire set of 20 design, I just figured that I would do the same thing as I did like for my dark fantasy one. Yeah, so make sure to check out my Etsy store, link will be below. This is it. If you take a look on Etsy, you will have the full set. There's 10 artworks and um, they will be printed on a thick cardstock like drawing paper, basically, which means they are suitable for every tool, including markers. So the paper is different from my actual coloring book. It's thick and it can handle every tool. And yeah, so that's that. If you do purchase this, you will have a discount code added to your order. And that will be 30% off when the actual book is out if you want to purchase it. Also, there is the PDF version of that set. So make sure to check my store. I will really appreciate if you can support me. So yeah, now let's get on with the video. I hope you'll enjoy it. So last week I had a French video. Didn't work out really well, but I don't mind that. Um, I know that getting back into the YouTube game is going to be really hard and I've just keep on losing subscribers, but you know what? Despite all numbers coming down, I've decided to not worry too much about it because I still have a lot of people watching my content and I still have a lot of you guys supporting my work. So yeah, I'm not gonna dwell too much on those, but uh, just so you know, yeah, my um, my views are not the best. I Every time I post a video, I lose hundreds of subscribers. Um, my income has dropped drastically, but I still have lots of things that I'm working on and I have a lot of things coming out this year and in the next years, of course. So for starters, I'm just going to recap what I did so far this year because it's already April and I haven't done any like nothing I've been actually working really hard on a lot of things so I've been back on YouTube for almost two months and um, it's exciting to have like a new setup that I can really just use every day to record content I have another time-lapse coming really soon I also have been working with the Diamond Art Club so if you don't know who they are I'll just ask you to google them they're basically like one of the biggest companies that are doing diamond painting and they reach out to me um i think last october or something maybe no it, it was even before that because it took it takes a lot of time to create kits they reached out to me almost a year ago actually but the first kit um made was elusive and it was out in november last year i believe or something or october and then um, this one is sold out. Basically, the Diamond Art Club has uh, worked on my artwork for a long time. Now. It's been like a year or so. I still have one kit available. It's called The Seer. And if you have been following my journey, you know which artwork it is. And um, it still uh, was sold out for the 500 kits, the first series. And then they got it restocked. And so now they're like on pre-order. I'm really happy and lucky to be able to rely on real royalties uh, from the sales of the Diamond Art Club's like kits, basically. So um, that is saving my ass because, like I said, my income has dropped and my Etsy store isn't working, like bringing as much as it used to. And uh, COVID plays a part of that, but I also think that. People are expecting new products and I haven't posted those. So I'm working on a lot of things, but basically everything has been postponed because I was working uh, on a freelance job that took a lot of time. So now I'm just like, 
I need to take care of my store. <laughs> so, what's next? I also have been working this past month on making a set of like new artworks, um, new original artworks. I have like lots of concept arts that I want to complete. I have so far, I think I have one, two, I mean, I've showed them in my previous videos, but I think I have like five or six design, like this concept art. Um, four of them are being made as I'm talking about, like as I'm talking about it now. I've been working really hard on those because I want to release a new art book. The last one I did was to complete the crowdfunding campaign. And I think it was like, it was supposed to be due for like 2016, but with my depression and all, and like things just were really hard to finish. So I ended up just releasing the book in late 2017. I want to, to make more themed content. Like I want to make story-based art book and um, maybe something just to be more specific and not just putting up like a collection of random artworks. But before I jump into those kind of artworks, I really want to complete the artworks collection that I have. And um, this will be the first released uh, for this year, like in 2021, along with my very long-awaited new coloring book. So yeah, this coloring book uh, was supposed to be out um, in last year, actually. It was supposed to be the spring edition for 2020, but COVID and lockdown and just all of the things, my mental health was, <laughs> was not the best. And I didn't really want to work on anything really. So I've actually started working on the Sweet Kawaii coloring book a lot, almost a year ago. But uh, I had run into some issues with my computer. It's really old and so I had to upgrade and then I had to... I don't know. I had lots of excuses but I also didn't want to like rush into it. And the theme really didn't really work out for a holiday release. And I didn't want to get that out in late December or even January after the holidays. It didn't make sense. So I've decided to push back this release for springtime 2021. As you know, it's already spring and it's been for a month. So I'm still late on that one. But I have done... I would say I've done like 60-ish percent of the book, so it's it's getting there. I'm cleaning all the design and uh, I don't want, again, to rush into it and just, just get it out just for the sake of getting it out. If it's a summer edition, I don't really care as much, but I will try my best to get it out like late May. If I get it done in a month, that would be great. So that's like the, the first two main releases. I don't think I will release anything else this year um, unless I, for some reason, find a way to like create a, a whole series for another project or um, maybe I will get another art like coloring book out for October, November, like the holiday season. But I don't want to like release too much again I don't know we'll see how that goes because if I want to release the book a new book a book <laughs> if I want to get a book out in October that means I have to start working on the coloring book just after the release of the sweet kawaii which means uh like working all summer and I don't know I don't know about that I know that it takes me five to six months to complete the book so um, I don't know if it, it's going to be manageable, but we'll see. I don't want to make any promises. Um, if I get one book out, it's, it's, it's good. And I, I could also just postpone the release of the art book, but um, I, I don't want to collect a, another year of work um, and just get it out in this like winter. I don't know how I'll do that. Maybe I'll just wait until like... October to release the art book. I don't know. We'll see how about that. But those were the main things. And then after that, well, I don't even know where to start because everything is happening at the same time and I'm still trying to figure out how to prioritize, which is why it's hard. Because like I said, my main income source is from my coloring book sales. So I, I don't, I, I still try to prioritize that, but making coloring books, especially like creating designs in black and white, is 
rather boring. It's not hard to do, it's just very long and kind of boring. My love for colors and just paints and watercolors, just like getting into art, is not fulfilled by making coloring books. So that is why I'm also trying to branch out and working on other projects, more color, like more artwork basically, or art book. And I've been also working on two other, I mean, two other main projects, but within those, there's like side projects. <laughs> it's really hard to explain. But basically, I have two main things that I'm not, I mean, I don't have any release date, but I'm still going to find time to work on those. So in my store currently, I don't have a section for that, but I will create an ornament section. Ornaments being a very broad term for just making like charms design, but not just like little charms. I want to create more like, like it could be turned into a keychain or a necklace charm or a bag charm, anything you want to hook that on basically and it's going to fall under a very fantasy nature style. I have invested a lot of money into like clay and tools and cookie cutters and lots of embellishments and pearls and I have a lot of things. <laughs> like I spent, a, I spent a lot of money. I don't even want to tell you how much. Um, but I've been collecting materials for like a year, almost two years. And I've started to work on a few series and a few designs. I haven't cooked anything yet. I'm still trying to figure out um, like how to mix clay and how to create texture and uh, the style that I want to have. I don't want it to look like, because I'm working with Fimo mainly and like polymer clay, I don't want it to look like cheap, but also because it's, it's actual polymer clay, I can't sell that for a lot of money because it's made out of clay and not like any precious material like gold or anything like that or wood so um it's still like a guessing game but um this project as it is is just a way to create um just like another creative outlet i don't aim at making like a lot of money from those because i'm not going to turn into like a jewelry store but i do like the fact that i can maybe uh take a look at some of my designs in my characters and like the jewelry that I've created on those and maybe just getting inspo from those and make out like make just a physical item based on a character. So that's that and those might also end up in into like a Sackwems box, goodie box um, that I've been working on but I haven't released it yet because I want to include original art in that. So that's on like the uh, to-do list and I I've been working on um, I've mentioned that in my Instagram and uh, I think I mentioned that on Facebook too that I've been writing and I've been writing a novel it's supposed to be an illustrated novel but at first I wanted to actually have it as a not like a comic book or anything or like a graphic novel because I'm not good at um, telling stories with pictures and I don't want that. It's like a, like a book that has illustration based on the story. I really like this format but I also think that I what I like the most about this project is that I can tell a story. So my goal for now is to create the storyline like the basic universe all the things and then write the book and if i feel like i want to illustrate the book i'll just see from from that first of all writing a book is a lot of work <laughs> i i knew that already but once i've started like creating the story and all the characters and everything i was like oh boy that is a lot of work so um it's a big big project that I will work on and I haven't in a long time, but I'm still trying to figure out like the basic timeline of events and basically what is the story about. I'm stuck around the end, <laughs> so I need a lot of work on that. And basically, because it's a big project, I've started to work on short stories before because I want to tell more stories and illustrate those before I jump into like a big novel project. So basically I've stopped working on this novel and I've started writing short stories. I have three, but um, 
they're all in French <laughs> because I started working in writing in English and I realized that it's a lot harder than what I thought it would be because um, I'm very, very literal and I don't have as much as much vocabulary, vocabulary, I can't speak English, guys. I don't have the same language, I don't have the same style. It's, I'm pretty limited despite being able to speak, speak fluent English. If I'm writing in my native language, of course, I will have more. So basically, um, I have like lots of stories in the making. I have like a short story book. I have the um, my main like magical like, fantasy story um, with the main character being Ayla. And I've shared a preview of the design on my Instagram. So that's that. This is a big like really fantasy, medieval fantasy, um, magic story based content and then I have another story that I <laughs> never like I haven't really started working on it I just have the basic storyline and this is going to be more like science fiction-y but um there's like maybe a twist of magic in it but that story is also linked to another kind of book that I've been working on and I haven't talked about it yet and I don't want to disclose too much about it but I've been working on creating a like a lore for the story and like a complete illustration kind I don't know how I can describe that it's basically a series of artwork that are portraying a specific elements of a universe and um, how I can describe that without telling you like, what it is. It's pretty hard. But let's say I am painting and drawing and just representing um, the wonders of a universe that I've created. So like any artifacts, any magical element, any specific thing or object that has powers or that is special. And I really like that. And um, I've created like four designs for like small concept art and I want to combine that with another story that I have because it's it can basically be matched that is a big project it's definitely not on the priori priority list but it is one of the project <laughs> and uh yeah last thing because this video is already way too long um all of those like won't be out until years from now on i don't i don't know where when um i just know that i'm working on this um what else i have been doing freelance job i don't again usually don't do freelance but i can't say no to this contract um just making like coloring uh pictures for like an app and uh, i think i've covered what i've been working on it's been a long video, but I just figured that I, uh, yeah, I just, I just wanted to give you a heads up on what's coming and uh, what I've been working on. And yeah, thank you guys so much for supporting me. And I hope you'll stay safe and uh, I'll see you in the next English video in two weeks. Bye guys.